Hello and welcome to Adam Wheeler's tutorial on how to replace the backup battery for the Roland TD20 V-Drum module, aka the Brain. If you are watching this, you have probably encountered this issue as a result of some faulty circuitry in these particular modules that were sold just a few years back. Evidently, Roland will fix the problem, and usually for free from what I understand, but for people in the field like myself, I cannot afford to be out of my unit the amount of time it would take them to service this and return it to me, so I typically have to replace the battery once every nine months or so and just bite the bullet and go buy a battery. Regardless of how much experience you have with electronics, replacing this battery is a cinch and requires not more than basic skills with a screwdriver, a little elbow grease, and some bravery to open up the unit. Here are the materials you will need to replace the battery. One Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it is a good one with sharp, no dulled edges. One tiny flathead screwdriver. This will be used to pry the backing plate open after all the screws are removed. Uh, one CR2032 3 volt battery. You can find these at Home Depot or really any store in the battery section. Watches and car remotes use these as well, so they're really easy to find. Buy a good brand battery though, or else you'll be replacing it more frequently. One soft pad or cloth to set the unit on while you are working on it. You'll need to have it face down the entire time, so don't set it on anything that can scratch it. Lastly, you'll most likely want to back up your data, especially if you have used the unit for storing patterns or kits that you have customized. As many of you probably already know, you'll need a compact flash card as well. Unfortunately, the largest size storage card you can use is the 512 megabyte, and good luck finding these in stores these days, since the quality of cameras has dramatically improved over the last five years, so has the size of their compact flash cards. You are best off ordering these online or even off eBay. I got this SanDisk for about 8 bucks, I think. Totally worth having in case you ever need to save your data. So once you have the unit in place, you'll need to remove all of the screws on along, uh, along the edge of the backing plate as well as the two tiny screws near the headphone jack and the four screws which attach the curved edge of the silver piece to the back, uh, black backing plate. Once you have all the screws removed, gently slide the small flat screwdriver under the backing plate and carefully pry it up along the back. Once it is wide enough to fit your fingers in, just pull it up the rest of the way off and you'll see the innards of the module. Be careful not to touch anything inside and avoid getting dust inside there. It is very easy to see the battery once this is all opened up. To remove the battery, you'll just need to apply a little pressure on the left side and push to the right in towards the clasps. And once you see it move in just a bit, just lift it up and it'll pop right out of the bracket. So you'll take your new battery and insert it in pretty much the same way in reverse order. Angle it down into the bracket and then gently push to the right. Push it down and it will snap into place. Carefully replace the backing plate. It fits very specifically into place, so don't force it down. Once it is resting flush with the other half, put all the screws back in and insert the power cable back into it and turn it on. When you first turn it on, it will prompt you to factory reset since the battery is new. Go ahead and click the specified button, I think it's F5, um, to execute that action. And you'll see it is back to the factory settings. If you scroll through, you'll find you know the original uh, V-Drum kits that it was loaded with. So that's really all there is to it. Um, a lot of people are a little dubious when it comes to opening the module up, but rest assured, it is a quick and painless procedure, and you'll have saved yourself uh, either missing out on your unit while it is made, mailed away to corporate rolling for who knows how long, or uh, having to pay a technician to do it for you. So hopefully uh, this was useful to everybody. Thanks for watching and enjoy your V-Drums.